Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm taking my trusty Firefly FF338 and I'm upgrading it, I hope, with the cheapest Alnico humbucker set I could find on Amazon. They're the Fleur? 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 I have no idea how it's pronounced, but they were cheap and they're Alnico 5 magnets. So, this is my first time ever modifying a semi hollow guitar, so it's a lot of fun. You gotta pull the controls out through the F hole there to get to them. And if you have big old sausage fingers like I have, it's very hard to do, but I got it done. As you'll see in the video, I don't want to jump ahead too much, but the stock pickups, I thought they sounded okay. They're a bit muddy to my ears, and they were also microphonic, meaning playing at any decent volume, you just got feedback like crazy. And this is only the second upgrade I've done to this guitar. The only other thing I changed was the tuners to some Wilkinson locking tuners. I'll have that in the links below. Here I'll show you the wires. You got black is the hot wire, the green one is the ground, and then the white and red you'll want to put a piece of electric tape over and keep that disconnected. Uh, the point of that is if you ever want to coil tap these later, each coil within the humbucker is tapped. And as you'll also see, I'm far from a professional when it comes to guitar modification. Um, kind of going out of order with what I took out and what I started putting in. Another thing I found here is the wires are taped together, so if you want to take the wires for the pickups out, you're gonna have to get in there and unwrap the tape from the bundles of wires. The other bonehead thing I did was on the neck pickup volume pot, I disconnected the wrong ground wires. So I had to re-solder those back on, you'll see here in a minute. But Anything that can be unsoldered can be resoldered. And while we're here, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that thumbs up. I'm trying to grow my channel this year, and I need your help to do that, so every subscription helps. And by the way, the sound you're hearing is I'm playing with the Digitech Trio Plus. I got the guitar post-op, and I have it running actually through a modified metal zone. I'll put a link to that video in here, how I modified it, but it pretty much takes it far away from a metal zone. Then for the amp, it's a Mesa Boogie Studio 22 caliber plus. Then I'm using the line out of that going to an IR of a Alnico Blue speaker. A tip for pulling the pickup wires through the guitar because with the five different leads coming off of it technically uh, it's kind of hard to get them all through the narrow hole so I wrapped a little piece of electric tape around it to keep them bunched together and I was able to push it through easily. You're soldering the pickup to the back of the volume pot the black wire which is the hot if you're looking at the pot from the bottom and you have the three prongs facing up it's the one to the right and then you want to do the green and the shielded wire to the ground on the back of it. And right here is an important part of it. After you hit that solder, tap the pickups through an amp, make sure it makes a sound. That way you know whether or not you have to redo it again. And also please make sure you watch to the end of this video because I recorded some sound samples of pre-modification and post-modification, both clean and dirty to see what the difference between the pickups sound-wise are. In the meantime, just enjoy my aimless needling over seven or eight minutes, however long this video winds up being, of random guitar soloing. And it took until the second wire I soldered to think, hey, just stick the pot back in the hole upside down and it holds it in place. So that's a pro tip for you from an amateur. time-lapsed but all in all it took me about 40 minutes to do and that's mainly because when you'll see right here as I'm trying to shove it back in with my sausage fingers it didn't work so well and I think at this point one of the washers fell off the pot so I had to dig it out of the F hole and then once I dug it out I dropped it in the other F hole so fun times
So I'm sure you've noticed by now, being the cheap ass I am and not wanting to waste a set of strings, I kept the strings on, which makes it a little harder to get the pickups in and out. But another thing I discovered as I went to put the mounting rings on these was the mounting screws and the holes in the pickup, they didn't quite punch the hole all the way through, so I had to find like a self-tapping screw with a sharp point on it to poke the hole through before I could get these screws in. But back to this guitar just in general, I love this guitar, like the neck on it is so comfortable, it's so lightweight. And once I put the Wilkinson tuners on it and cleaned up the nut a little bit with a file and I had to put some graphite in it, this thing stays in tune. So between the tuners and the pickups, I still have less than $200 in this guitar and I would feel comfortable gigging it any day. Though I have more expensive guitars, this is a guitar I actually enjoy picking up and it's probably one I pick up more often than others. And now that I have these pickups in it, I like it even more. So now that I'm wrapping up the install here, if you can tell I'm narrating this after the fact, texting my wife and uh, stick around for some sound samples between the two, a comparison. I mean, it's not the biggest difference, but the biggest point of upgrading the pickups to me was the fact that the stock ones were microphonic and uh, it's easier just to replace the pickups than the wax bottom. Sound test coming up, I left all controls exactly the same. So the clean channel of the amp with the modified metal zone going into it.
Hi everyone, now that you've heard the sounds and heard it played back, I'll throw in my two cents on what I think. For $28, I think it was a worthy upgrade, mainly because the stock pickups were microphonic, which really in a live setting made them unplayable. As far as the bridge pickup, I'd say it was slightly more clarity, maybe a little more output, but it was a very subtle difference between those. The neck pickup had a little bit more bite to it, so I like that and also slightly more output than the stock one. So for $28 on a, it's now $150 guitar, I think I paid $140 when I got it. I think it's a worthy upgrade. Combine that with the Wilkinson tuners and for under 200 bucks, I have a guitar that I would feel comfortable playing anywhere. So, and anyway, please make sure you like and subscribe and until next time, cheers.